Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing well. We're going to have a look and see what's going on for you at the time you view this video. I checked the settings. We should be okay in terms of sound, hopefully. Oh, coffee. Um, but yeah, let's just get started, okay? As always, just keep in mind these are general. Take what resonates, disregard the rest. Use your own discernment in terms of how the message is applied to you, if it's not the exact scenario that I'm uh, giving as an example. Always feel free to check out any other video on the channel that you feel drawn to because you could have messages there. We're using the Ask the Witch tarot deck. I used this yesterday in the reading that I had to take down. So I thought, well, you didn't get to see the deck and it's quite a nice deck. So let's get it out again, okay? And thank you all for your likes, your shares, for your comments and feedback, sharing your stories with me. Um, and thank you for subscribing to the channel, of course. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on. For Pisces at the time you watch this video. And I'm picking up, for some of you that you don't think you have a lot going on in Pisces and yet you found your way to this video and you're thinking, why? Oh, she said Pisces, I got nothing to do with Pisces. If you're guided to this video, even if you don't have anything to do with Pisces placements, um, there are messages here for you, okay? So always trust the guidance that you're receiving. Okay. So let's have a look and see what's going on. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess, Major Arcana Energy. The High Priestess talks about knowledge, wisdom. Oftentimes, it's, it's um, intuitive, subtle. It's not out in your face. It's not printed on billboards, okay? It's not um, put on speakers. It's very, it's hints, it's subtle, it, it's signs, it's symbols, it's your dreams telling you things. It's reading someone's... Um, body language for example where you go mm, i don't know there's something there their words are saying one thing but that doesn't match with what i'm picking up on there you know what i mean so it's that kind of uh knowledge and wisdom with the high priestess it can talk about secrets it can talk about the, keeping things very private let's see current situation we have the seven of wands so this is taking a stand with something uh putting up boundaries saying no defending your position in a situation so the High Priestess with the Seven of Wands could be protecting something that you hold dear to yourself from others um, who may be trying to be snoopy. It could also be um, taking a stand, putting up boundaries and not communicating. But you see how that's the same thing? You see how that's the same thing? So I'm giving you different scenarios, but it's the same energy, okay? Maybe we're looking at it from different angles or it's in different areas of life, but the energy is the same. In the challenge position, we have the death card. I feel like Pisces, you're taking a stand and putting an end to something and um, just going quiet, okay? Just going quiet. And for those of you who've already done this, and this is where you're defending that position. You're saying, no, I still want this done. I still want this to stay done, okay? We just had an eclipse. There's a lot of things going out the door, okay? That don't serve, that have either serve their purpose or they never were right for you to begin with or they were right up to a point and now it's just time to move on. Okay, in the found oh my god, in the foundation, eight of cups. Yep, you walked away from something, you detached from something. Now, if you're going through this now, this is something that you lost love for a long time ago, but just never made it official, right? Just never said the words. I think we should just, you know, right? Is that kind of situation. And for others of you, you're going through it now. You're initiating this ending now. And it's just confirming the fact that you're determined to do this because there's no love there, okay? In the recent past, we have the Page of Wands and this comes up as a new energy, something new, something different, uh, something fresh I'm getting, something inspiring and exciting um, that triggered your curiosity, triggered your passion, triggered your creativity, triggered your emotions, And you like sat with this for a while, you know, what do I want to do about this with the high priestess? Because something else needed to end in order for you to have something new in your life. That's how it goes, right? We have to make room for something new to come in by releasing what is dead and 
or dead end or just burdens, right? What's on the mind? We have the Emperor Pisces. You're in this place of power, Aries energy. You could be an Aries cusp. But you have complete clarity. You have the complete layout of the land. Okay, lay of the land before you. You have your emotions in check. And even in this energy, you see how there is restructuring going on. This is going, this is going, this doesn't serve me, this is not what I want. It's almost like he's sitting on the foundation of what was a tower, right? So for a lot of you, you've gone through a tower, or this is what's happening with the death card. But it's it's more than willing, as far as you're concerned, Pisces, because you're like, this has to go. It's just no ifs and buts about it. This just has to go. Complete clarity, confidence to enact what it is that you're thinking. Okay? No second thoughts. No doubting yourself with the Seven of Wands. This is determination. I'm making room for this thing. I don't care what's going out. I know exactly what's going on. I don't care how they feel, what it is. I know it's done. I know it has to go, right? And if it's not cutting things or people out, it's changing your routine, changing your lifestyle to make room for this new idea, opportunity, way of life, right? So what's going on today? We have the Five of Pentacles, definitely leaving something behind. The Hangman, yep, and the Four of Cups. So for some of you, this could be someone trying to play victim and ask for forgiveness, another chance. What you're leaving behind with the Four of Cups, where there's lost emotion, okay, what you're leaving behind, you could have tried to revive and resurrect it with the Tower that was highlighted here as well. You could have tried to resurrect it. You could have tried to keep it alive. You could have tried over and over to make it work, to make it happen, to keep it going. And every time you gave it another chance, you lost a little bit of love for it because it, it ended the same way or worse, okay? You might hear from whatever it is that you're leaving behind. But with the hangman, you're not taking action. Your emotions don't rule you anymore. And that means you've either lost love for the thing, the person, the place, the situation, or you're just in this place of you're not doubting yourself. You're not afraid that you might be making the right or the wrong or the, you know what I mean, decision. Um, you have complete clarity. You have this new understanding, this new perspective with the hangman. And you are not taking any sort of offer from the past, any sort of communication from the past. You're not going back, Pisces. Really, eclipse energy, if ever I've seen one. Okay? Because you're at ease, you're at peace, and not only that, you're determined to follow through. You're determined to make room for this new, beautiful, exciting thing. Okay? So let's clarify for Pisces this amazing of a reading. Okay, there was a bad word in between that I didn't want to say. Amazing blip of a reading, okay? So let's see. Clarify for Pisces. Seven of Wands in the current situation. Five of Wands. You're taking a stand and you're defending your position against people trying to steer you off the path, trying to get you to go back to something. This could be your own inner thoughts and inner doubts. Um, that you're like, listen, I'm not even going to look at that. I'm not even going to go there. I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to overthink it, okay? But there could be chaos, there could be tension, there could be um, people, people trying to start arguments with you or people trying to talk you out of what it is that you're trying to implement, okay? The death card in the challenge position, the world, Pisces, you are so done with this. This is a big change, Pisces, that you're going through. And it could be inner transformation, inner change. Um, where you're finally overcoming an addiction or you're finally overcoming a long-term illness for some of you that has defined your life up to this point, okay? Um, or you're finally, you're releasing a long-term relationship, whether it's romantic, professional, personal, or otherwise. There's a change in status, okay? You're getting ready to move. You're getting ready to um, undergo some sort of makeover in your life. Okay, and it's you're on track. You're on track with it with the world card. Okay, but look at all these majors. 
Meaning, you're listening to your intuition, you're taking your own guidance, you're following your, your heart and the signs that you're receiving, the wisdom, the knowledge that you have been receiving, and you're implementing the changes. You're on divine timing, okay? You're in charge, you're manifesting right now. You're at the wheel. The Eight of Cups in the Foundation, King of Cups, your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You are, you've outgrown something, Pisces. You are now in, in the foundation is king energy, okay? You've outgrown something. And again, you've learned to master your emotions. There's again that, that aspect of it. If it's um, an attachment, if it's that you once had love for something, if it's nostalgia, if it's fear or self-doubt, whatever emotion was controlling you, holding you back, making you fearful of change, that is no longer the case, okay? You've mastered your emotions. You're like, yeah, I'm aware of how I feel, but that's not enough to keep me here. That's not enough to keep me from doing what I wanna do, okay? A water sign could be significant as well. Page of Wands in the recent past, here's the tower. This could have been clarity, communication, an idea, um, an invitation extended to you that just gave you this hangman, this complete clarity, this new perspective, this new understanding, this new way of seeing things. I can do that. That is available to me. That is accessible to me. I haven't been happy here for a long time. That thing makes me happy. That person could make me happy. I could be happy on my own. I don't need this, you know? If I didn't give to everything where it's taken for granted anyway, if I just fed that into myself, I'd be doing amazing in life. You know what I mean? That sort of big realization. And for those of you, it's an invitation that came out of the blue. It's communication in some form that came out of the blue. It's someone expressing feelings or passion that made you realize, oh my God, whatever it was, you got excited, okay? Whatever it was that came in, you got excited. You got thrilled, okay? You were giddy. You were giddy. And you saw yourself and you realized, I haven't felt this way in this current situation that I'm in, either in a very, very long time or ever. And that blew your mind with the tower. And you're like, okay, I know what I want now. I want to feel that way every day. Who wouldn't, right? The emperor on the mind, the knight of wands. Yep. You're, you're putting things into motion. You are enacting a plan. Travel could be significant. Job change, relocation could be significant. Definitely change in status somehow going from in a relationship to single because now you want to live your life for a little bit or you want to move towards a different person that gets too all excited and, and there's a lot of feelings there, right? Um, changing career paths. Changing how you make money. Changing what you study. Starting your business, switching to just focusing on your business as a way of making money, whatever it is, it's a big change that you are in control of, that you are implementing. Let's see, Five of Pentacles, the Hangman, and the Four of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Empress. Listen, this is what it is, Pisces. This is what it is, okay? The Empress is the ultimate, just the ultimate, okay? This is pure love, pure abundance, unlimited and unconditional abundance, prosperity, love, growth, okay? Healthy. You might have been dealing with something with the Queen of Pentacles, either an Earth sign, Taurus or Capricorn, but you might have been dealing with someone definitely less than, it's not a competition, and everyone is where they are in their path in life. However, to compare, these are different levels of the same energy, right? This could be something that had potential, 
but it's not it's not this it's not the the unlimited unconditional this comes with terms conditions restrictions you see even in the car they could have been dealing with someone who's all about the money all about themselves all about the power and that's why they had you around that's why they kept you around that's why they interacted with you they were in your life somehow and you made a big judgment call a big decision as a result of all this clarity and again you see to go from one thing to another and now you're receiving blessings with the judgment card this new opportunity person or idea or place or dynamic whatever it is that represents is represented by the Empress is a gift to you from the universe is a blessing to you from the universe for trusting your guidance the intuition enough to implement the changes that you were guided to implement enough to act upon it because we all say yeah we trust my intuition but when it comes down to do what our intuition is guiding us to do to make it real we doubt we pause we don't know well i'm not sure well maybe i'm crazy you know what i mean you were like this is what i've been seeing this is what i've been receiving these are the messages these are the signs this is how i feel about this this is what my gut is telling me to do and you have looked at it sat with it analyzed it you did the back and forth you did the am i crazy am i not you did all that and you got to the conclusion and no this is what i'm going to do it's the signs are too strong my intuition is screaming at me my dreams are all the same is something here okay there's something here i'm going to follow it and see what happens right because it's undeniable and by doing so we're showing the universe our angels our guys our spiritual team that we trust we trust okay we're not trying to control or we don't have to know everything before we set out we don't have to have guarantees in place we trust to do our part in the co-creation process and then we trust that the universe will do its part and that's what it's happening that's that's what's there those are the gifts right so for a lot of you whatever this opportunity whatever the source of unlimited and unconditional love and prosperity is you've manifested it okay it's the answer to a prayer or a manifestation what else for Pisces ten of Pentacles the two of wands the six of wands yep you are leaving behind whatever this was here that was restrictive or controlling or something that was all about the money or this is family trying to control trash um, traditions those same old same old how things have always been done is trying to that has been restricting you somehow okay a long-term relationship a long-term dynamic with the ten of pentacles you're choosing to turn your back on that and follow your own calling your own path with the six of wands to accept and embrace whatever this page of wands represents for you if it's a person an idea an offer a job a place to live a new living arrangement a new lifestyle that's what you're doing okay oh Pisces this is awesome this is awesome I see no doubt I see no fear I see no hesitation I only see blessings because you're in this place of power and again we have the Emperor and the Empress on the board for you under the Empress we have the three of wands turned your back on something towards something new the five of swords you you're you, for some you had to fight your way out of this which is why when you leave you go no contact but you put your foot down you got yourself unstuck eight of swords three of swords it wasn't easy to do it wasn't easy to do let's be honest it's not as easy as it sounds but you did it you did it you conquered overcame your fears your doubt that's what we were talking about right the three of swords especially like in, in any depiction is the heart pierced by the swords meaning the heart pierced by our our thoughts our reasoning our logical mind it's when we are afraid to do something that our heart is telling us to do it's not always break up and separation okay but you overcame with the chariot and again we have that determination okay to follow through pisces 
such a beautiful reading. This deck, man, <laughs> it's two for two on amazing readings. Two for two in two days, right? So let's see Oracle cards for Pisces. Let me try to give them a shuffle without disrupting everything. Okay. Okay. Oracle energy and advice for Pisces. Oracle energy and advice for Pisces. These ones, they say. Carnivorous flower fairy. Attempting offer has a high price. That's that four of cups. Five of pentacles and the hangman. Okay? Someone's trying to tempt you back. Someone's trying to tempt you to stay. Someone's trying to tempt you to change your mind. And you're like, you know what? It's not worth it. It is not worth it. Because whatever you're offering me is small, but it will take a lot from me. So what is, that doesn't even add up, you know? But again, you can see that because you've mastered your emotions now. You're no longer confused about who you are, what you deserve, what you want, okay? Oh, ho, ho. Okay. We have Voodoo in blue, back off. This is the seven of wands, right? Back the F off. I said what I said. Don't come for me, right? Because I'll say it some more and I'll be less nice about it. That's your attitude. Oh, Pisces. Mildew fairy. Clean up time. Yep. Number, number 15 adding up to a 6. You're like, okay, this is done. That's going. The death card with the world card. This is done. That's going. This is staying. This is giving away. This is, I can burn this. I can, you know what I mean? Pink lotus fairy. A time for spirit. Number 43 adding up to another 7. We keep seeing Lotus Energy for you with that Sewer Fairy card that comes uh, keeps coming out for you. It's a time for spirit, and this is what I was talking about w with the High Priestess. You're literally aligned. You're in charge. You're, you're in divine timing. You're behind the wheel right now. You trust your guidance enough to act upon it. And miracles are happening. Miracles are happening, Pisces. And Poe, time for change, to learn something new, to use technology and gadgets with wisdom, another seven. Sevens are truth, wisdom, confidence, power. And this is that page of pentacles energy. Something new, something received through technology potentially. It doesn't have to be the case. It's just something new, something different, something exciting that sparked this change for you, Pisces, that was a catalyst for you, okay? Oh, Pisces, what an amazing reading. Let me know, all right? Let me know in the comments, please, what is this? So basically, to sum it up, taking all the examples away to make it less confusing, what this is, is you had something that your intuition was screaming at you about, screaming at you for a long time, okay? Pulling you in one direction or another. You, you got signs, you got symbols, you got signs you didn't ask for, but you got them anyway. Your dreams were the same. For some of you, you could have had a repetitive dream for months, okay? Dream or nightmare, doesn't matter, right? Um, you kept hearing the same name. You kept hearing the same, you kept seeing the same company name everywhere. You kept seeing the same word that keeps popping out at you, okay? That sort of thing. You can't deny it, right? You, you couldn't deny it. You couldn't explain it away. And it was getting more and more intense. That thing in your life, once you looked at it and entertained it, it gave you a sense of complete clarity of what you need to be doing. For some of you, this is where you found your life purpose right? And you took action with that, or you are taking action towards that. Removing and releasing whatever it is that has to go, whatever it is that does not align with this new path of complete and unconditional love and prosperity in your life, okay? And whatever it is you're trying to walk away from, move away from, may try to tempt you somehow. You're not even interested. For some of you, you're not even talking to them. You're not even entertaining. They're already blocked or they can't even get in touch with you anymore. 
you're in this place of confidence, clarity, power. You know who you are. You know what you deserve. You're not backing down. You're not making any sort of excuses or apologies. You're not doubting yourself. You're like, no, this is what I deserve. And I'm not accepting anything less. And that is why you have now manifested and attracted a match. A match. If it's a person, if it's a romantic partner, if it's a business partner, if it's an opportunity, if it's a company to work with, whatever it is, a lifestyle to align with that gives you complete health and fulfillment. That's what this is. That's what happened, Pisces. Okay? Ooh, Pisces. This is amazing. This is amazing. Okay. So let's move on to your yes or no portion. Thank you, deck. You amazing thing, you. For these beautiful readings. And thank you, spirit team. Okay. So let's see. This is where you phrase your question in a way that you need a yes or no answer. And you pick a number between one and three. I recommend picking one since we're being so specific, but always go with your own guidance. You can pause the video to do so. And if the additional messages don't make sense, just contemplate it for a bit. It might be a completely different perspective that's being offered to you that would lead you to your solution. If it really just doesn't resonate at all, don't take the additional messages, just take your answer. And even if that one doesn't resonate, these are still general, so it's something to keep in mind, okay? So is it a yes or a no for Pisces? One, two, and three. Okay, if you chose number one, your answer is yes. You have been attracting, you have been manifesting, the right people have been keeping an eye on you, you're impressing all the right people. Um, I get multiple opportunities, multiple offers, or what you're asking for, getting it, but it comes with more than what you asked for somehow, okay? That's what I'm getting for that. If you chose number two, your answer is yes. Things are about to pick up speed. Things are about to start and move very quickly for you. You're gonna have to hit the ground running. Big change, but very positive and exciting change is coming, okay? And if you chose number three, your answer is yes. Yes is across the board. Do we have all these cards? I think apart from the Queen of Wands, we had these two in the reading as well. Um, whatever you're asking about, your answer is yes. Um, I feel like the hard work has been done. This is a case of um, expect to receive it because it's on its way to you, okay? You don't have to hustle for it anymore. You just know that it's coming. Maintain your pace. Maintain your vision. This is coming in for you, okay? So, Pisces, that is what I have for you. What an amazing reading, okay? So I'm looking forward to your thoughts on this one. Let me know. And remember, you can be on slightly different timelines so this is a heads up of what could be if you follow this, whatever this is that your intuition is screaming at you about. But I'm looking forward to your thoughts, okay? Let me know where you're at in the process. Let me know if it makes sense to you. Let me know if it helps you. Let me know if it gives you clarity, if it gives you direction. Um, but it's amazing, Pisces. I can't wait, okay? So I'm going to leave it there. Um, I'll be doing your week ahead reading at some point uh, today probably. So stay tuned for that. I'm um, sending you all a lot of love. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.